All right, let's talk Las Vegas Raiders. Got some exciting news for you, Raider Nation. Of course, camp is in full swing. There's been a lot of young Raiders emerging, but there's one in particular that's been surprising everyone, including the coaching staff, the veteran, and the GM. It looks like the Raiders may have a big steal here. I'm Nick, and this is Saturday Morning Inspection. All right, the Raiders made a number of really quality draft picks. I think Brock Bowers is certainly going to be a weapon. JPJ looks really solid. There's a lot of under-the-radar guys as well that are making a name for themselves. But there's one guy that a lot of people were concerned about when he was selected in the third round. But he's come out when the opportunities have been there and really blown everyone away, whether it's Antonio Pierce, the GM, Tom Telesco, or whether it's his competition on the other side of the ball, and that is offensive tackle DJ Glaze. Let's pull up the support, then we can talk about it more on the other side. This is courtesy of The Athletic. On Tuesday, Glaze stepped up for a banged-up Thayer Munford Jr. and was not embarrassed by Crosby, who has been relentless and whose pressure on the quarterbacks has essentially halted practice at times. Pierce said the six foot four, 315-pound tackle out of Maryland caught his eye long before that. He showed up in a big way, Pierce said. He didn't blink, didn't flinch. That first rep against Max is always going to be tough, but as the practice went on, you saw a guy growing. But forget Tuesday. Since he's gotten here, he's been steady, steady Eddie. He's been consistent in everything he's done. He's learning from the veterans and doesn't say a lot, and he puts his best foot forward every day. You have to be excited about where he's going and his approach. The report went on to quote uh, Tom Telesco saying, DJ Glaze held his own against Max Crosby, and he's coming along a little faster than I anticipated. Uh, Raiders GM Tom Telesco and Raiders rookie offensive lineman DJ Glaze on the JTT or JT The Brick Show. Max Crosby actually, after that practice, took it personally, the fact that Glaze was able to do such a good job on him that he actually was very vocal and aggressively talking smack to Glaze and following practices, indicating that he saw Glaze not as a rookie, not as a guy who was sort of inferior, a guy who would be ignored, but a real competitor, not an equal, but a guy who could hold his own against Max Crosby. Those are all obviously incredibly promising signs for this Raiders rookie. Myers, I'm curious what your thoughts are on this, but first, Raider Nation, in the comment section below, preseason is almost upon this. We're about to see all these new Las Vegas Raiders in action, in uniform for the first time, only a short time away. Give us one guy you're excited to see this preseason more than any other, right? There's been a lot of really interesting new Raiders added into the fold, but you can only pick one. Give us the one guy you're really excited to see more than any other. Make sure you put them in the comment section below. And while you're down there, make sure you check out the description box below for our affiliate link for our recommended reading to get you ready for the upcoming NFL season. It is Playmakers by Mike Florio. We, we highly recommend this book. Obviously, we bought it. We both read it. It's a really good read. Shows you the, shows you the ins and outs of the NFL. Florio does a pretty nice job here with the book. Whether you love him or hate him, it's a good read. Check it out. If you do buy it, please use our affiliate link in the description below. It takes you right to Amazon so you can buy it. Costs you nothing. Helps out the channel. So we'd really appreciate if you do decide to buy the book. Use our affiliate link again in the description box below. But, Myers, let me throw it over to you now. What do you think of this latest news involving this Raiders rookie? Yeah, Nick, I think this is really great news for the Raiders, and I like the last point you bring up, especially the thing about Max Crosby. Because when you see it in the article, they talk about, you know, Glaze had some good reps, and he gets some praise for the media from that. What did Max Crosby take that as? He didn't really th see it as praise for Glaze as much as it was, like, a negative towards him. So what does he do? He goes out and he attacks Glaze the next couple of practices, really gets after it. And what does that tell me when I hear something like that? Like you said, it tells me that Glaze is a guy that is worthy of Max Crosby's best effort. This is a third round rookie who, as of right now, isn't even a starter. And Max Crosby gets a little bit miffed when he hears about this guy. He is really starting to compete with this guy. He's giving him his best effort. He wants to beat him. It's in his mind. DJ Glaze is living rent-free in Max Crosby's head, at least for a practice or two. And I think that's extremely impressive for a rookie because we all know Max Crosby, excellent player, one of the best defensive linemen in the NFL, bar none. I think he's fantastic. He'll go down in the history books one day. But for DJ Glaze to come out here and have that good of a performance, Pierce saying something good, I think that's really good. Telesco, who, you know, scouted, helped pick up a guy like Glaze, I think that's really good. But for Max Crosby, I think that's the most important one for me to really start to get after. Maybe one thing if Max was like, ah, he had a good practice, he was looking good. But for Max Crosby to really come out and attack this guy, 
and just give him his all. I think that speaks a lot about how good DJ Glaze actually did. And I think this is going to be a really great sign for the Raiders as well because offensive line, it's going to be paramount this season. You have new quarterback there. There's new systems. You need to give him as much time as possible, whether it's going to be Minshew, whether it's going to be O'Connell. I'm pretty sure we're leaning towards O'Connell at this point, but I think O'Connell's going to need as much time as possible in the pocket to figure stuff out. So if somebody goes down, it's really good to know that DJ Glaze is back there and he's really doing a fantastic job so far. Well, especially considering a lot of people felt Glaze was a big reach, picking him up in the third round the way the Raiders did. A lot of people thought that was not a great move by Tom Telesco. But people forget Telesco has actually a pretty solid experience going back to his time with the Chargers, finding late round offensive linemen that aren't graded very highly, but are really good feisty football players. You look at Jamari Solier for the Los Angeles Chargers, right? He, I think Telesco picked him up maybe in the fifth, sixth, seventh round, something like that. I don't remember off the top of my head. And he went on to basically be, due to injuries, a day one starter for the Chargers and did a pretty solid job, right? He didn't grade very highly in terms of his NFL draft profile, but Saul Year has been a quality player for the Chargers, just getting it done, figuring it out, becoming a feisty, good football player. It looks like Glaze falls that same kind of mold. And this is exactly how the Raiders turn around, can really build momentum. Because we know this is a team that at the top of the depth chart, top of the roster, they're really, really good right Devontae Adams is spectacular Max Crosby is spectacular right Colt Miller is kind of an underrated player I think he's going to be awesome as well right we know the quarterback position is going to be a big question mark whether it's Aiden O'Connor or Garn Minshew but eventually that will get settled the question is going to be the depth of the roster the overall talent around those superstars and whoever turns out at the top of the quarterback position and having a guy like Glaze a young guy at the bare minimum being a quality swing tackle a quality depth piece with the developmental ability to maybe become a starter one day that is so huge because people forget all the time that having depth is really you obviously you got to the superstars. You got to be good at quarterback. Everyone knows that. But having depth is what really pushes a team from, you know, six, seven, eight wins to 10, 11 wins. Right. Because everyone goes through injuries. Everyone gets beat up. It's the teams that have quality players that fill up the second and third strings of the roster that allow them to survive those just really tough Novembers and Decembers and push themselves into the post season i think the raiders the past couple of years have really struggled with that they've been very talented but one or two injuries and they kind of don't have the ability to back it up glaze is a guy who can come in and address that problem certainly on the offensive line and i love the fact that everyone is impressed with him you look at antonio pierce obviously that's high praise coming from pierce he's he's a no bs kind of guy telesco he knows this kind of stuff as well and again the max crosby element is so important if you've got a rookie offensive lineman that's living in max crosby's head that's the biggest sign of respect a young guy can get and it's a great sign for the future of dj glaze